Well, that, that last quest was pretty interesting. I'm gonna have to look into who that actually was. I think it was Chaos, but I could be wrong. Sharing the wealth. Varush wishes, wishes, to, wishes to discuss the distribution of the treasure. And I have a hard time with S's. Wishes. Gotta slow down and be uh, careful how I say that. Shall we begin? If we are to spend the treasure wisely, then we must first determine which groups would benefit the most from monetary assistance. Some of my citizens may find it intimidating to speak the such trap directly. So I would ask you to act in my stead. Divinius, you were to visit Akiali and Yed Limad. Speak with Mat Matsaya, Matsya and his people and listen to their grievances. And Stinian, I bid you do the same at Alakastan. I will be conducting my own inquiries at the Giant Skull Grounds. Once you believe you have ascertained the needs of the populace, we can reconvene at Megadu Megaduta. I'm going to say something completely different. You think it's loosely based on Donkey Kong Country? But instead of King K and his minions, it was those puppet guys? Yeah, I, th I think you're right. Okay. Wait, do we even need to do that? Um, actually, where is that? It's a different... It's not... Yeah, that's a different place. Thank God for the teleporting. Although, still don't have any flying, unfortunately. Probably should have gotten flying before I decided to start recording these episodes. Uh, or, you know, recording the main story quest. Oh well. Luckily, it's not too far. And we get to see this awesome t-rex i gotta tell you when you're when you're flying and you're using a mount that i mean i must i, I can't be the only one that's like when i see when i see the t-rex flying it looks stupid because you, you can fly with any mount flying with the t-rex just looks stupid Oh, Divinius, I was glad to see you had returned unharmed. You finished with the boat then? Yeah, unless I want to redo the dungeon. Anything the village desperately needs? Well, I, I suppose Kalz, Kalzal's loss hit us the hardest. I've been trying to find buyers for my fish, but all, although I sell a few here and there, it's so much more difficult than it was before. Everyone's still struggling to rebuild their lives. For now, we're just banding together as best we can. Oop. Man, we gotta go all the way back here. I think that's it. There's nobody else, right? In some other place. And I can't believe how many quests there are. You know, at one point I was doing a... Uh, I was doing a series on this game for, like, completing all the yellow quests. I think I finished, like, most of the beginning areas. Like, a place like this, there's, like, no quests left. I don't know, can you see quests when you're not in the in the zone? Let's see. Maybe not. There's got to be a place, uh... How about if I pick... There must be quests here. Oh, I guess you can't see them until you, unless you're there. Oh, you just gotta believe... Well, they're on YouTube. I guess you can go watch them. Should get back to that at some point. 
Some of the quests are pretty interesting. Might as well just teleport there. We got the money. Speak with the locals in Yedlima. Well, that's probably not how you pronounce it. Greetings and welcome, traveler. Is this if this is your first visit to Thavnir, then you must try my special Amralasi. Its refreshing zest cannot be beat. What could such a wonderful cost you what could such a wonder cost you wonder normally i part with three bottles for a generous price of nineteen thousand eight hundred gil but for you i'm willing to go as low as even ten thousand you'd be practically stealing from me if anybody ever says that you're being ripped off where they say i'm gonna, I'm gonna lower this price you're, you're stealing from me just they're just like trying to emotionally trick you. Stealing at that price? You're the only thief around here. Still not turning up. I'm not in Stinian. Uh, but he does. It's a reference he's not even going to understand. Let's go with the second one. Still not turning a profit, eh? Times are harsh, my friend. The world may no longer be on fire, but we are still st st stifling through the ashes, so to speak. Sister, spare me. We might as well have that ugly tower back for a scant few travelers we see these days. I myself barely have the coin to buy at local prices. I tell you, if I didn't charge the odd adventure a small fortune for afternoon tea, then I'd be scared scavenging for scraps in the street a little much don't you think it sure is minutes oh, welcome to the stream it's been a long time how you doing i might be a little sick i, I definitely woke up feeling a little weird this morning maybe I have like a cold or something The weather's been, it's been, I wouldn't say it's really hot where I live, but it's hotter than usual. And I'm just like not used to it. So I've been like, I've had like a fan going. That probably got me sick or something. Or like sleeping with the windows open, which I don't usually like to do. How fair is the port? Well, it's in shambles, isn't it? The trade routes are open once more now. The dangerous past, certainly, but no small number of merchants have had to sell their ships to make ends meet in the short term. Add to that the sailors we lost in the final days, and it's little wonder the flow of exports is no more than a pitiful trickle. If Kalzal and his consortium were still with us, I'm sure he'd, he'd have found a way to turn our fortunes around. Now that was a man who got things done. God rest his soul. You have spoken with key, key local figures and gained an understanding of the populace's hardship. Varashan awaits your report at Megadua. Yeah, I'm not even going to pronounce that anymore. Terrible at it. I'm doing pretty well, aside from maybe being sick. But, I mean, I don't feel sick. At least, I mean, maybe... It, Maybe I have like a sore throat or something, but that's all I can really notice. You've been on VR for the past, well, you put five to three hours. Usually when people have a span, they go, they put the lower number first. They'll say like three to five hours. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's not a good thing to be on there for that long. remember when Joker got announced for Smash? I thought it was Joker from DC and I was hugely disappointed when I found out it was Persona's Joker. That would have been pretty interesting. It would have been kind of out of place.
I mean, I guess technically there is a... I mean, there's a Marvel versus a DC game, right? But there's no, like, Joker game. I mean, I guess he's in... He's probably in Batman, right? He's in the Batman games, maybe? Because they're not going to pull people that are not in a video game. I think that was the point. Like, celebrating characters that are in video games. They definitely wouldn't pick somebody that was, like, not in a game. Although I've heard good things about Persona 5, and I definitely want to play it as a Let's Play at some point. But it's it's another RPG, and I've started too many, and I just can't. I can't start another one without finishing some others. It's getting a little ridiculous now. This is different, since I could just kind of start and stop whenever. This is not really a Let's Play. We're just kind of doing some stuff. Ah, my advisor's return. I just made it back myself. Why do you retain this vessel now that your true form is known? You could have flown across the island in a fraction of the time. Be that as it may, the sight of a massive creature descending from the sky can be startling to say the least. And there are few places I can enter comfortably without the risk of flattening some cart stall. Hmm, fair enough. As for my inquiries, the people of Palakistan were unanimous in their reply. They are surviving. Resources were stretched to the limit when refugees are, were pouring in. But they preserved with some assistance from Yedlib, Yedlimad. From what I understand, they have always been an independent community. Hunters and foragers and the like. And I was assured that the jungle provides for their needs, for the most part. Palaka's stand was weathered, as weathered a disaster, better than most, it seems. I myself heard good news and bad news, and bad. The quarrymen were cautiously optimistic, having just sold a wagon full of giant skull to a foreign trader. But such visitors are few and far between. Compared to our best years, the weight of stone leaving Thavnir has been light indeed. Our nation is small and isolated, its prosperity dependent on the steady stream of exports. We must identify any obstacle to the flow of trade, so we may begin working to remove them. Tell me, what did you learn from Akiali and Yed Lamat? Oh, was it, was it Mortal Kombat versus DC? I thought there was a Marvel versus DC game. Yeah, maybe not. Or, oh, that's, that's Marvel versus Capcom. Yeah, that's definitely wrong. Hmm, I see. Without a dedicated buyer, the average fisherman must struggle to offload his daily catch, which is why I believe we should first address the lack of ships and shortage of able-bodied sailors in Yeldamad. I am reminded of a child I spied as I made my way back to the palace. His father lost at sea when the beast sunk their vessel. So many variations of the same tragic tale, repeated over and over, so many lives lost. You can't stand VR anymore. You used to be able to play for three hours. Now you can't even stand an hour. I don't think I've ever played any VR games. I remember I bought when I bought a phone a while back. It came with like a cheap little VR headset to put your phone in, and it, you know, it was fun watching. You know, like watching a YouTube video in there. But I never played any games. They're just so expensive. I mean, I guess I have a PC now, and I can probably get like an Oculus or something or a Quest. And I suppose I can get the PS5 one. I do have the PS5. But I don't know. Not enough games for me to really care. Maybe later. Enough grief to drown in if we let ourselves be overcome. 
But we will not. But we will not. Vinius and Stadion, I will consider the perspectives you brought me and devise a plan to help my people confront this adversity. Come. I would like you to be in attendance when I announce the proposal to assemble to my assembled functionaries. I mean, there's, there's probably more VR games to play if you get like a PC VR set as opposed to like the PlayStation one, unless you can hook that up to a PC. I'm not sure. I don't want to look into it because then I'm going to I'm going to convince myself to buy it and I, don't, I really don't want to spend the money on it. If I get a VR, get an Oculus and not a PlayStation VR. Honestly, I was thinking, oh, definitely. I've heard good things about the Valve one. Oh, what is it? The Index? Oh, that one's super expensive. It's like close to a thousand dollars. The Thief Simulator is the only VR game that gets you motion sick. I get motion sick pretty easy. I would assume that that's probably the main reason I haven't spent any money in VR. Even playing like, you know, like a Call of Duty or any kind of shooting game. I, I get like motion sickness after a while. So I don't play those either. They got some cool armor. And what of the children who were left without family to care for them? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it's too bad. I could probably get used to it. I used to play like Call of Duty when like on the PlayStation 3 and it was never an issue. Maybe nowadays with my, you know, monitor that has a faster refresh rate, probably wouldn't be that much of an issue. I think if I just like stuck with it. I'd probably just get over it eventually. But I just, along with that, I just have no interest anyways. I mean, I suppose, if you know me, I mostly play single-player games anyways, so... You would recommend Job Simulator? 
man, that's, that's such a depressing. I can't believe people play games like that. I mean, I'm sure it's fun, but it's just like, man, that's like just based off the name. I like, I know nothing about it. It's just like, really? Like, I can't, I can't imagine people <laughs> want to play a game that simulates a job. Like you spend all day working and then you come home and play job simulator. Crazy. But I, I do suppose people play those trucking simulators. Maybe they're truckers at work. I don't know. I imagine those people that do the trucking simulators are not truckers. I remember like I I always liked like working on my cars. It was always a fun thing to do. But then when I started working as a mechanic, the last thing I wanted to do was come home and work on cars. <laughs> Terrible. Let's see. Uh, taxes. Levy them on trade profits in exchange for your investment. Takes a village. Yildeshire's orphanage was funded through trade and highly coveted goods. I hate taxes. Let's just go with this one. Of course, we can draw on trading profits to build a new institution. Not that it really matters what you pick. The results are the same. Maybe this one dialogue is different. But I can't imagine anything else is different. Let us put this idea into practice. The contract shall be written, requiring all who receive of ours a Dar's treasure to commit a portion of their future earnings towards the running of an orphanage. Now, such an influential policy is deserving of a worthy name. Oh, so you're pretty much the class clown in this job environment. And that that does sound I mean I'm sure it's a good it's a good game. Or else people wouldn't play it. Nobody would hear about it. It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to do VR games on stream. Problem is you can't. First of all, I don't have a VR set. But you couldn't see the chat. It's something with... Yeah, I can't pronounce it. Honor the most successful merchant. I think that was his name anyways, right? In that time of strife, any one of us could have broken. Any one of us may have been taken by despair. When I think of Kalzal, I feel no hatred. Only a stinging regret that we could not save him as well. Isn't that right, men? This bodes well for that boy. Mirad was it. Perhaps he can cut ties with that shady peddler. Is it make oh then let it be done. Henceforth, this initiative shall be known as the Kalzal Foundation. 
there's a mechanic job where you can F up people's cars. Oh, that, that's, that actually does sound kind of fun. I guess I was looking at this kind of wrong. I was expecting it to just... I mean, I guess it's kind of stupid now that I think about it, but... I was expecting it to just be like one type of job. I was expecting it... In my mind, I was like, oh, it's like an office job. And you're like in a cubicle. And like you're messing with, you know, doing stuff there. I, I never even thought that there might be different different types of jobs that you can start just you know and messing with people's cars would be kind of fun and if it was anything like semi-accurate i'd actually know what i'm doing Those guys are ready for a dungeon. We got a tank, a healer, some DPSs. Dragon and man, side by side in pursuit of a brighter morrow. No, oh, that's right. That's what happened in Nishgard. They were an office, mechanic, 7-Eleven, and cooking jobs. Sounds like some fun time. It does sound pretty fun, I gotta admit. I don't know if it's so fun that I'd spend the money on a VR set. Maybe sometime in the future, I don't know. I haven't really looked into it that much. If I'm not mistaken, I think the, the cheapest one that you can get is what the, is what metas. There's like a meta quest. It's like 300 bucks or something. I think that's like the cheapest one I saw. But that might not be the best idea, to be honest. Sometimes it it's better to just hold off on stuff and get the more expensive one. And just like not get a cheap one they might just end up replacing anyways that's my philosophy if the, if the differences are are big enough but I, I like i said i don't really know all right so that was the end of sharing the wealth let's see what's next for us